Hey guys, today I'm going to talk you through the scroll saw and the disc sander because they're very much related in the, in the processes of making. But obviously first, safety wear. Apron, goggles and it gets quite dusty so a dust mask will be required when working with this tool or machine. Now what I'm going to show you is just a general way of using this machine, certain safety aspects and such, and we're going to start with just cutting some MDF. So you get a tri-square, but up to a straight edge, and we'll say this is the line that we're going to work from. This side being the waste side, the side we don't need. This side is the side we do want. Imagine that. So I'm going to bring you up nice and close to the scroll saw. Now as you see we have a very fine blade. Let's get this in focus. very fine blade similar to the coping saw so this allows you to do very intricate cuts some curves and to get into side little details and here you have an air hose so this blows away the dust and this gets connected all the way back loops down to here and that's operated for when you turn it on it pumps up with the handle, with it pumping the air through the hose. So we're going to look at the button turning it on, which is just here. The green is obviously go. Red is stop. You also have an emergency stop off of your foot. Okay. Then we also have just tucked underneath here speed gauge so you can adjust the speed faster and slower nice and slow for control okay then you have this which is a guard you can adjust it with this bolt here bring it down and the guard protects you from putting your fingers into the blade. Like so. I can't touch that now. So now we bring the wood, the MDF. Now if you remember, I mentioned this is the waste side and this is the side we want to keep. So you'll be cutting into this space, avoiding this space. So instead of cutting, trying to be really precise and be on the line, we're going to cut just to the side of the line, allowing you some breathing room to make any sort of mistakes or errors in how you cut. Now when you use this saw, you never want to force it too much. Never push too hard because you can snap this fine blade. So you just let, let it cut the wood at its own pace. Never rush this machine. So it's just, it's just a, you apply a gentle force behind the cut. So we turn it on. I'm going to make it a little bit faster with a speed dial. I press, press the, the MDF down firmly. If I don't, it will rattle a lot. So you've got to press it down hard. Slowly put it in. In the air nozzle. We then would come over to the disc sander. So just on the side here, you have the button, the green is on, but that won't turn on until you get the extraction fan on, which is here. And the extraction fan 
it's this this big suction kind of like a big vacuum which sucks all the sawdust from this container which falls down there so first this is on then this one's on again your stop button there and an emergency button here now this is slightly different it takes a long time to stop as you can see so you have to be very careful with this machine still be going for a while because it's such a speed. So on here we have some safety parameter. This red line you never pass. Okay, so here's the sign. Do not pass the red line whilst operating this disc sander. The speed of this, it can uh, really damage you. So you never want to risk yourself by passing this line. So if there's anything smaller than this, then you shouldn't be trying to sand it on this machine. It's too powerful for that. This is a guard, because obviously it spins this way, so if you try and sand it here, it will throw the work away. Whereas if you position your work here, the spin will push it to the bed. And this is your bed here, which can change. So you can change the angle, giving you different edges. And here's your guide, so if you know an edge to be straight, you can press it against your guide, which would give you a right angle. Again, this is also this loosens, so that can allow you to change. So if you want a 45 or 30 degree, however you want. Lots of options, lots of possibilities on this machine. But today, all we're going to do is focus on... Let's get this focusing... All we want to do is focus on sanding to this cut line. Now you could file it by hand, but I want it to be true and straight. So I want to use the machine because that will allow me to be super, super straight. So all I would do is I'll press it on the bed. I might use this guide to help me at first. And keeping it pressing down again, nice and firm, I just gently push into the spinning disc sander until that, until I touch that line. Okay, so I go on here, the, f the suction, on down here. There you go. Stopped it with my foot. And they would have sanded to your edge, your line, nice and straight. And then I would finish this off maybe with some sandpaper. That my that my friends is the scroll saw. And then your disc sander. Work well together. Thank you for your time, thank you for your your attention. Uh, all the best.